Light speed. Your yeah, man fat. One and only. April stamp. Know thyself. Love thyself. Heal thyself. What I see uh -huh. inside you, uh -huh. if you know what I know uh -huh. about you, if you love what I love, love then me. you'd love you. Everything. everything you did, everything you gave, just so I could live, you gave everything. everything. And nothing was too big, even your own life, you sacrificed to give us everything. everything. A lot of public schools are starting to shut down around the country. You've been seeing that? Y'all got some? New York, in Philadelphia, we shutting down like 60. D.C., Baltimore, Houston. What's going on with the closing of all these public schools? But at the same time, you see more and more charter schools. Let me explain to what's happening in case you ain't paying attention. Public school is on its way out. They're killing it. In about 30 years, there will be no public school. There will be religious school, there will be private school, and there will be the charter schools. Now, the charter school's job is to take all the best kids from the public school. Once the charter schools take all the best kids from the public school, the only kids left are the ones who got behavior problems, learning problems, the ones that nobody wants to teach. So now the charter school took 500 kids away from the Boston Public School District. So they're gonna use that as justification to do what? Close down two schools in Roxbury. So they open up a charter so they can close down the other schools and consolidate the students. So before it's all over, there will be no public school buildings left. And the only kids who will be in them will be the black boys that nobody want to teach. And they'll just teach them long enough until they decide to drop out, get arrested, or get killed. So when we want education for our black boys, we're going to have to build the schools ourselves. You have to stop trying to make middle class white women teach black kids. It's not going to happen. It never has happened. Now, am I going to sit here and say that every white teacher in America doesn't want to teach our kids? I'm not going to say that. I know some excellent white teachers. I do. But I do know that the bulk of the ones I've met in the rich suburbs or the ghettos, whether it's public school, private school, charter school, or parochial school, carry the same racial biases outside the school into the school. Okay? When I walk into classrooms as the psychologist and see your son sitting at the back of the room with his desk facing that wall, when the board is up here, then the teacher is making it clear she don't plan on teaching him. That's why you got so much ADHD, because the teachers don't want to be bothered. The only reason why they in Roxbury anyway is because they couldn't get a job in the suburbs. And many of them come to the ghetto to teach because you know what? The federal government pays their loans back for teaching in the ghetto. So they come to the ghetto, teach for five years, get their student loans paid off, and then go back to the suburbs. And you know what the problem is? Black teachers do the same thing. I ain't got a problem with getting their loans paid off. But as soon as they get them paid off, what do we do? Black teachers, we run to the suburbs too. And the reason why the kids ain't learning is because the best teachers go to the best schools and the worst teachers go to the worst schools. And then they telling you that if the test scores don't go up, we gonna shut the school down. Well, look who you got teaching my son in the first place. The reason why the public schools are closing down is because they don't need black people in order for America to function anymore. We're done with in terms of being needed. So why do you have schools if you don't need black workers? You don't. So you shut the schools down and you build prisons. And that's exactly what they're doing, building prisons, internal concentration camps to warehouse black people that America no longer wants.
which is why your victory is in the stars against stars eventually to take charge because you are essentially royalty of all scars and enemies the story of your life quite literally the greatest story ever told no mystery it's written all across the globe so vividly in all facts and all forms all over the industry With the rifle like Harriet, I know what you would do. You would make peace come true without one shot fired. You would freeze from the zoo. See, I know who you are. The stutter of the ball, the serious star, the prophecy carved in the pyramid walls. I'm wishing it.